I miss some more bunnies. Crap. Take that. Crap. Take that. There we go. Don't worry, they respawn eventually. Oh, there's a thingy in the tree. We didn't get the last one because uh, I may or may not have done some bad things to it. And it didn't like it very much. That's a combi. That's different than what I thought. And it's a male one. It doesn't evolve. Okay. The male ones don't evolve because... It can't be Queen Bee. That's why. The female ones do. So. I don't know. That's my very limited explanation. And that's what I'm sticking to. More bunnies. I guess those sky balls would be pretty good at catching. Or feather balls would be pretty good at catching those bunnies. More than like Pokeballs would be. At least. Because that's kind of what they do. And... Let's fast travel. That's a long way to walk without fast travel. Okay. Good to see you, Crash. And how is your research in the cleaver going? Swimly, I expect. Uh, no, actually, we didn't do anything except for talk to them and then got sent here. Thanks. Oh, ho. is that so? Now it's quite the tidbit. So a serving of the favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. No, I don't want to. Good God, look at the eyes on Parasect. That was creepy as all hell. Okay, we got some monies. Okay. Oh, look at that. We didn't have enough XP to rank up that time. Okay. Works for me. Sweet. Uh, so according to the information you were able to learn from Irida, the Leon of the Pearl Clan, where this is nor the normal course of events, Frenzied Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas of some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back in from this frenzy? But by our own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment. If you would... I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. So why didn't you tell us earlier, Dopey? Dopey Dingleberry Professor? Professor Dopey Dingleberry? He's still thinking. What? You, you, you took a dump? Is that... Is that what the Eureka moment is? You, you, you took a dump? Sure. I mean, you look like you feel a lot better. We'll simply have to throw the food. Uh, I didn't read that part. You've got quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Crash? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, sure, why not? We'll just go with that. That's what we've been doing. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill as in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. Brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy things, uh, well, how about tea time balls? Put one in your mind. Put 
puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, doesn't it? Does it not? Why would you simply call them Labaton balls, Professor? Because then they'd be nicknamed Dingleberries. Oh my. With that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. I I could do that. I could throw you at the, the angry Pokemon and let you just kind of deal with it. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to the, the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know, know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights camp, eh? Hey, thanks. Um, let's see here. Why is my stream crapping out? I didn't do anything to you, stream. I did literally nothing to you. So why are you crapping out? I don't get it. Is my internet still jacked up, jacking up? Yeah, I, I know. I noticed it like the second it started doing it. And now it's fine. No, no, now it's not. Nope. Uh, it was like fine for like two hours. What's going on now? Uh, I don't know. It's better now. The bit rate went back up. Okay, that's weird. But whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Why am I pushing 6,000 kilobits? I don't have, I don't ever set it that high. Is it because my, I cranked up the quality on the audio, but like, didn't really change much? Why are you? Oh, you're the lady that I need to do that other mission for. Anyway. Let's uh, GTFO. Hello, Mai. Are you uh, going to yell at me too? I mean, everybody else has done a pretty good job of yelling at me so far. Hi, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building in from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, it's I came because I had some news that I thought might be might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to uh, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Okay, sweet. I uh, don't even get an option to go explore. I just get yeeted into the next thing. That's fine. Beer. I spoke to Weird Ear about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lens, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our own, our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Readers found you worthy, you see? Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, my? No, please don't. Is it an ocarina? I would like an ocarina. It's very important, so listen well. Is she using a straw to snort some coke? That'd be one hard line. 
and slideshow again. Great. Great, great, great. Lovely. Either my internet tired to take a cramp or uh D D D D D the Twitch server took a crap. But there's a setting that they added to OBS that kind of fixes this problem, but uh I forgot to enable it. My bad. This is uh a Celeste Stika flute that my just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on weird ears so you can ride upon him. It said that Celestica fruits uh, lutes were gifts from Almighty Sinon itself, and now this one is yours. Great, thanks. Do we uh do we get a, a cool like is it like a slide flute or is it like a a, a bamboo flute or what? It's not a grand gesture really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See you can see if you can play that melody. I don't think I have to input anything. Okay. We dear opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Received a mind plate from Weirdir. That's the the thing that changes Arceus's type. If I remember correctly, yeah, I use this Celestica foot loop wisely and gallop across the land with great Weirdir. Got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across the fieldlands in no time. Great, thanks. And freaking testic. Thank you call Weird Ear and gallop across the land. Yes, they literally just said that. Thank you. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Yep. Seems good to me. And you have a mission. You want to talk about like balloons 17 balloons well that'd be an impressive start uh balloon race in the field lands okay there's 17 balloons with the time limit for the balloon race in the obsidian field lands sure Do, 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 do. I like riding on this deer because it's fast and better than running and stuff. And I don't know. I'm. I don't know what's going on. Where, where are we supposed to go? Uh, that's the race. There's the satchel. There's another satchel. And we got a long freaking way to go. You need theme music? I can do theme music. Uh, maybe. I could do better if my uh, stream was stable. Or semi-stable at least. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like the last couple of days, like the, the internet just keeps cutting out. Like I couldn't figure out why I couldn't stream the other day. And just my router pooping, taking a poop. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go take care of the, uh, frenzied Pokemon. Hi, you're back already. Huh. 
think I'll take care of you. That way I ain't got to catch your dumb butt later. All right, this shouldn't kill him on the first shot. They get close though. No, stop glitching out. I didn't do nothing to cause you to glitch out. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Great ball. That should be a lot easier. Maybe not. Oh, I didn't realize I was uh, that close to like fainting him or to my guy passing out. That's stupid of me. Let's go breast cancer dog. Uh, that will definitely kill you. A lot of this stuff will definitely kill you. That shouldn't. Stop hitting so hard, dude. All right, balls again. There, I don't have to come back for it. Can't, I can't do that sound. Um, Psyduck. There's a Cascoon. Um, a mushroom. Sweet. That one's a worm pool. I don't know what these berries are. They're there. Plenty of bunnies back in the place where they were. Hey, dude, how's it going? Wait, I, I... Hi. I thought you did that earlier. Did it not work? It says I just got rated, but, but like it says I got rated an hour ago. Yeah, a little bit. All right, I'm going to see what I can do about this. Cause I can change the bit rate. See if that uh, fixes the stream a little bit. Settings. Uh, output. Okay, that, uh, that should make it at least a little bit better. How's it going, mine? So you say that... Uh, Y'all probably ought to read that. Long story short, I ended up streaming early early because I thought I was tired. Ending stream started up because a friend joined and was telling me what to do. So I started streaming again. Anyways, I'm tired because cold medicine. Cold medicine. Have a good night. Go enjoy your cold medicine. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite food in the balls and throw them. Okay. Uh, you galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver safe from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. 
Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. Ah, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, so he's supposed to be super genius and he forgot. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to Gal the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering Pokemon about by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs, but on my side I have Pokemon as close to me as sister, as one of my blood. You can defeat Glaceon and me. I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Oh, you got Glaceon? You are so screwed. You are so screwed. Yeah, so screwed. Hi. Right. It's a fire type Pokemon against your ice type Pokemon. Take this, you little jerk. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that did a lot more damage than what I thought. Quick attack, fine. And you're still burned. Stop. It's my turn. Eat it, jerk. You know, just having one Pokemon is not going to work for you. Ever. I see now, Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see if, let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Thanks. Except it could have all been avoided. Now explain the galaxy team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? I'm gonna mash them up, chop them up, stick them in a stew. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash cleaver's foods together? Yes, that is literally what I just said. Ball them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Yeah. Slap him upside the head and see if that works. Because why not? Interesting. So you've developed smoothing balms of sorts to calm our Lord. Soothing. Eh. Very well. If it'll help soothe the cleaver's frenzy, let's make them balms with our very hearts and souls. No, it's it's not that hard, lady. Just like it's fine. There, a variable amount of Mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself. I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Alright. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, I'm not backing out. I just, like, need to heal. Oh, wait. You already healed me. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I forgot. Thanks. Uh, oh, mighty cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering for of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his mighty might between the heavens and earth, we offer you our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Crash, keep your focus on cleaver. Dodging it will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing bombs. Okay. Russia! Okay. Hi. Oh, look. Holy crap.
Um, sir? Are you on fire? That doesn't seem safe. Okay, you, you, you seem a little mad. This, this, is, this is fine. Let's see here. Uh, claim victory against this noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy. You will have to throw bombs at it until it, its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening with its noble defense, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the battle and the noble guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual. So throw as many as you can. Sweet. Ah, did I? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Just nope the heck right out of there. That's not cool. Dude, they're like barely working. This kind of sucks. Let's see here if I I think you're this kind just, just this is not fun just, just, Oh sh Jeez That's That wasn't cool He's like super pissed Hey and then Pokemon to do battle. Let's go with this one because he like threw a rock move at me for some odd reason. Why? Why? Bubble. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Bubbly more. Take these in your face. Come on, more. Oh crap. He's, he's mad. He's super mad. He's like super duper mad. Water, Pokemon, let's go. Aerial Ace, that's bad. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Um, wait, let's go for an item. And uh, the super potions go right there. Let's uh, heal. This, this is not cool. That was not nearly enough, but it's fine. Uh, fight. Bubble. A little bit of bubbly. No, oh, stop. Stop hurting my mons. These are my mons. I'm hurting them. Okay. Take that, you jerk. Quit being an, a jerk, you jerk. Uh, heals. Kills now while we're not fighting him. Lots and lots of heals. Oh crap. I didn't dodge that very good. But being a jerk. Send in a Pokemon to do battle. Gotcha. Go for it, Vitporin. Get, get him. He's being a jerk. Get him. No, bad stealth rock. That move does something totally different than it did in other games. Like it used to like hurt Pokemon that swapped in and it's agile style. Get a little bit of a Positive priority boost. Throw these guys. Gotcha. Woo.
so shiny. It's no piss no more. Look at all the level ups. Sweet. An insect plate. Okay, well, that'd be useful later. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put to ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. I mean, like, that's, that's still conjecture because nobody's shown any proof, but... Yay. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know Strange Lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. These bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But it's... If Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the Strange Lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then, were we even right to try and interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. What powers sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack? People of, and Pokemon indiscriminately. I doubt it. The crash accomplished just now is it needed to be done. I'm glad that we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Okay. Hmm. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. Anyway, I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. You're welcome, I think. You obtained three citrus berries. Let me care for your Pokemon as well in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I I already took care of that, thanks. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still can't imagine the re reasons that play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Sweet. Anyway, usually they'll give you a shot at catching those kind of Pokemon later. Like after the storyline's done. But I feel like that was a pretty good place to end it for now. Like, I've read so much exposition, it's crazy. And it's like killing my throat. Mm -hmm.